Today we're talking about President Obama's push for a better system of drug shortages, putting the FDA in the crosshairs for their inconsistency. I'm Kimberly Wallison with this must-see political episode of Insider's Health News. Drug shortages should be a thing of the past, at least that's what our nation's leader hopes for our health system. President Obama fired a shot at the FDA recently, claiming there needs to be more accountability when it comes to drug shortages that put patients at risk and raises the potential for price gouging. What he described as a slow rolling problem has not caused a crisis yet, and with the new executive order put in place, it hopefully never will. The order instructs the FDA to take action in three areas, broadening the reports on potential drug shortages, accelerating reviews of applications for drug production, and giving the Justice Department more information about possible collusion or price gouging. Recently, patient deaths have been blamed on shortages, and when hospitals have to buy from secondary suppliers, it usually comes at huge markups that patients can't afford. Surgeries and cancer treatments are currently being delayed. These markups might even become illegal as distributors in the newly termed gray market are charging obscene prices on medication that the big companies won't produce because of the price point. And while the order won't remove these practices altogether, many are cheering the move, citing acknowledgement as the first step. Here's hoping that if you were affected by any of these shortages, that this advanced screening and accountability will not only keep the FDA from allowing a national crisis, but that it also will help keep the smaller problems at bay as well. Because nine deaths might not be a big issue on Capitol Hill, but it's a big issue for our communities. That's it for this edition of Insider's Health News. I'm Kimberly Wallison, reminding you that it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the docs.